Well, hello again, everyone. I'm here with Victoria and Kieran, and we all know that there's a serious situation in Ukraine at the moment, and these guys would like to talk about what's on their hearts. So, Kieran, what's on your mind? Yeah, we've been watching the news, and um, yeah, it's just seen how tragic it is. The, the need is just overwhelming, and uh, we've been praying about it, haven't we? Mm -hmm. You know, still feel a bit powerless, and we just want to do something. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at. Okay, so Victoria, what do you think we could do as a church? So there's a few things that we can do. You can give individually, and we're able to provide you with details of organisations such as Tear Fund, Christian Aid, and the DEC. Or we could, as a church, pull together all our resources and put into one specific organisation to have the biggest impact through money and prayer. And we'd like to suggest partnering with Cree, which is Christian response to Eastern Europe, through Hugh Scudder, and make a life-saving difference. If you wish to give individually, you can make your own arrangements through the websites of the organisations that you wish to give through. But if you want to pull together, which we will be doing, please send Alan your donations by the 24th of March, clearly marked for the Ukraine appeal. So Kieran, how else can we get involved? Well, we need to, we need to form a little team. And yeah, if you've got a heart for this, please get in touch with me or Victoria. Um, we've never done this sort of thing before, so any help would be appreciated. Mm -hmm. And yeah, let's do something. Um, Victoria's got a, a bit of scripture for us. I have. Relating to this. James 2, verse 14 to 17. Faith without good deeds is dead. What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith but don't show it by your actions? Can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing and you say goodbye and have a good day. Stay warm and eat well. But then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? So you see, faith by itself isn't enough. Unless it produces good deeds, it is dead and useless. Mm. Yeah. So let's pool our resources, everyone. And if you've got a heart for this, then please do contact Victoria and Kieran. Thank you so much.